Right. So we got an idea about the potential difference. We got an idea about the potential difference. So here in your textbook, you have that potential difference in the page number 180. So this is we discussed uh, previously potential difference, right? So here potential difference is generated by the letter V and it takes the units volts. So one volt we can define as one joule per one coulomb, right? One joule per one coulomb. So the definition of uh, one volt is given as followed here. What is that? If you do one joule of work to move one coulomb of charge, right? So to move one coulomb of charge through a conductor, if you work one joule of work done, right? If you complete one joule of energy, that we can define as here potential difference, right? So get that uh, definition also here. Then here potential difference units are given. The next here, one question is given here to answer. What is that? Here, what is the direction of electric current in terms of potential difference? Right? What is the direction of current in terms of potential difference? Right? So here, simply it is from higher potential difference to the lower potential difference. The current is from positive terminal to negative terminal of the battery. Positive terminal to negative terminal of the battery. So here higher potential to lower potential. Right? Then also we can say that current is flowing through a conductor in the direction of field. In the direction of field. Then here one more question is asked here. Positive charges move in a conductor or negative charges. What you are expecting here? Can anybody? Can anybody? Which charges are moving? What are said to be here? Free charges. What are said to be here? Free charges? Either uh, electrons or uh, protons. They are here electrons. Free charges are electrons. What about uh, protons? That means positive charges. They are fixed in a space, right? The area where that uh, positive charges are fixed called as lattice space. We defined it as lattice space. So here, Electrons are freely available in a conductor and the positive charges are fixed throughout the conductor, right? So they are helping us to accelerate the electrons only. So here, no motion is expected by the positive charges. Simply, they are giving you one type of motion called the vibration. They are vibrating in their mean position depending on the temperature depending on the temperature of the conductor. They are vibrating from the mean position. So in this process, the electrons are gaining the energy to move through the conductor, right? So here simply, we got an idea which are moving. No, uh, sorry. In any case, that positive charges um, are in rest position or means that vibrating. Now, positive charges will move, but not in a solid material. Positive charges moves, they moves in a, a liquid, right? So in an electrolyte made up of liquid, they can move. So in the electrolysis process, we discussed about that. Towards the anode, towards the cathode. Electrons are moving towards the anode and protons are moving towards the cathode. Then they were named as here anions and uh, cations. Right? So, cations, anions concept is there that we learned in the electrolysis process. 
so here they are allowing to move positive charges called cations right then the negative ions are moving towards the positive terminal called as anions so which are called as cations which are called as anions simply you can remember positive terminal right positive terminal of anything will attract negative charges so positive terminal is called as anode the uh, the charges which are attracted by the anode called as anions right anions are what negative charges so in the similar way you can just assume what about cations cations are attracted by the cathode cathode is what negative terminal negative terminal attracts positive charges so positive charges called as cations simple to remember right so it is simple to remember use that logic right so i got an idea which are moving in a conductor right so in liquid conductors electrons and protons that means positive and negative charges both are moving but what about in the metal conductors positive charges are fixed in the lattice so that's why we are not expecting the motion of positive charges so simply electric current due to what motion of the electrons electric current due to what motion of the electrons that electrons are moving from negative terminal to the positive terminal and the electricity is expected opposite in the direction of electrons from positive terminal to the negative terminal so if the positive terminal uh, sorry positive charges are moving from a conductor right through a conductor from the point a to b then the work is done is considered to be positive right then here if it is on the negative charges if it is on the negative charges that work done on the negative charge is expected to be negative opposite to direction of field right so here then you are able to expect that terminal a is at higher potential and the terminal b at lower potential difference so the battery is accelerating that positive charges at its positive terminal right so then electrons are moving opposite to that one so the work done on the negative charge is taken to be negative opposite to the direction of field force right so that is the reason to say a is at higher potential difference and b is at lower potential difference so where the positive charges are located that is taken to be higher potential difference and where the negative charges are expected that is taken to be negative terminal lower potential difference right so how we are taking that we will clarify in the battery discussion right so simply we got an idea about the high potential difference and lower potential difference so one of the terminal is expected here at lower potential difference and the other is expected here at higher potential difference one is at high potential difference and the other is at lower potential difference right then here that electrons are expected to move from lower potential difference to the higher potential difference lower potential difference to the higher potential difference that electrons are moving under the influence of electric field force right so here make them underline in your textbook so here simply that the negative charges always move in a direction opposite to the electric field we consider that electrons move from lower potential to the higher potential difference right so depending on the positive work and negative work we are expecting right using the formula i is equal to q into n into a into vd so in this the major role is given by the charge only remaining all are positive for any particle q is negative for electron and uh, positive for proton q is negative for electron and positive for proton right so that's why you are here getting the direction of current 
in the direction of field that is higher potential difference to the lower potential difference then we know that in a battery or a cell constant potential difference is maintained till the battery is completely discharged so how it can maintain right how does a battery maintain a constant potential difference between externals between its uh, terminals if once the battery discharged completely discharged completely you are unable to get any potential difference right no potential difference simply why does a battery discharge why it is discharging actually right here positive and negative terminals are connected to the battery uh, conductor only if the battery terminals are connected then only it is starting discharge otherwise no discharge right so let us see the clarification for that how it can maintain constant potential difference suppose here i am taking this is ice battery right so in this what we have what we have charges how the charges are existing in a conductor because of presence of electrolyte because of presence of electrolyte right so what is electrolyte a chemical substance right so electrolyte is present in the battery so this electrolyte participate in chemical reaction electrolyte participate in a chemical reaction do you agree or disagree how it can takes reaction sir okay so here electrolyte is there along with metal plates and carbon rods are placed in it carbon rods and uh, simply metal plates are placed zinc and uh, carbon right so zinc act like positive terminal and the carbon rod is acting as negative terminal right so whatever it may be the type of uh, uh, what material acting like a positive or negative right so anode cathode anode cathode so whatever it may be anode or whatever it may be act like cathode so the question is simply here how that electrons are forced to move right so here simply in the battery we have we have electrolyte so electrolyte is participating in a chemical reaction with the zinc and a carbon rod placed together right so it can loss or gain electrons so completely it can positive and negative charges produced charges are generated or produced due to chemical reaction exchanging the electrons between them it is nothing but chemical reaction only so the chemical reaction is taking place to make particles ice charged bodies atoms ice charged bodies. so here simply you will get positive charges and negative charges together so we know that each chemical has positive and negative charges count equally that's why it is existing in neutral condition right as a neutral body so here once it is connected what happens so before connecting only just uh, follow me it is before connection the highs this positive and negative charges what happened this electrolyte is participating in a chemical reaction right due to that chemical reaction what happened simply they are losing electrons or gaining the electrons so exchanging the electrons are taking place motion of electrons are expected motion of electrons are expected here exchanging nothing but motion right expecting that so here due to the motion of electrons automatically what it can generate 
electric field. Also, it has one more force called uh, chemical force due to the electrolyte. So here, that electrolyte will accelerate the particles, accelerate the particles to move in a specified direction. To move in a specified direction. Suppose here I am expecting this positive charge based on the nature of the particle, nature of the sorry, nature of the electro lights, right? Nature of the electro lights. So they are moving from one direction, from one place to another place in a specified direction. So the direction of motion of positive charges in a conductor will be decided by the electrolyte only. The motion of the electrons or protons will be decided by the electrolyte we used here. Suppose due to the electro, uh, electrolyte, I am expecting simply the positive charges are forced to move in a specified direction. Suppose here I am expecting left side. So this motion will continue will continue here two types of force are generated here one is electric force and the other is chemical force so chemical force is forcing the positive charges to move in a specified direction and electric force will act on the negative charges to move them in opposite direction to that so here positive charges are accumulated on one of the metal plate here what you situated in battery then another terminal that is another metal plate will be accumulated by the negative charges here so accumulation of charges is taking place due to the field forces right that is chemical force and the electric force chemical force and the electric force so here both will acting on uh, charges opposite in direction opposite in direction suppose if you are expecting the force on the positive charge positive charge suppose it is experiencing the chemical force towards right then what about electric force on it opposite in direction right on the negative charge chemical force will act opposite to the electric field force right so here electric force will act on the charges towards left side and uh, this one will act towards right side so oppositely we are expecting so here simply due to that difference in their forces right at one of the situation fc overcome fp at one of the situation fp overcome fc right but once this battery is manufactured so that will be available with the forces or in equilibrium state that means fe or fc both are opposite to the another fc is equal to fe fc is equal to fe so here in this case their accumulation of charges will take place up to certain amount once the enough amount of charges accumulated on the metallic plate then the motion of charges in opposite directions will be stopped they won't move the charges motion or stopped in a conductor once that equilibrium is attained then when you connect this when you connect this with the battery sorry with the terminals of a electric conductor right terminals of a electric conductor what happens right so here just i'm taking a wire here right and taking a wire with the red color here suppose if you connected this battery with a wire what happens what happens right so up to now what we know positive charges accumulation and negative charges accumulation on the metallic plates will be equal will be equal so the magnitude of electric force and magnitude of chemical force will be expected 
here equal. Once you connected that uh, terminals of the battery with the terminals of a conductor, so it is free of charges. It is free of charges, right? Here, what happens? This positive charge, what the positive charge is available, that positive charge will attract negative charge here. So automatically what happens that electrons are forced to move towards the positive terminal of the battery. So this is your battery. So here electrons are forced to move into the battery positive terminal. Right? What happens once that electron attracted by the battery here? Electron attracted by the battery positive terminal. So the accumulation of charge on the metallic plate here will be like this. One charge is attracted. So what happened? If you observe left end, right end, right? So at right, uh, now observe at right end. So at the right end, we have positive ch negative charges and also conductor highs negative charges. So here, unlike charges attract, unlike attract like will ripple so repulsion will take place at right end attraction will take place at left end so this electron move in this direction right so then observe accumulation of charges on the metallic plates do they equally no so what happened here f e becomes more than f c Right? Then what happens? This FC will not accept this one. Then what is trying to do here? It is working to move this negative charge accumulated on the positive terminal of the battery. Right? This negative charge will force it to move towards the negative terminal of the battery. That will be done by the FC. Right? So here FC trying to bring that negative charge towards Negative terminal of the battery. Once it comes closer to this one, what happens? Repulsion is there, strong force. But it is completely doing the work to move it. So what happens? One like the electron forces to move into the conductor due to the repulsion. So it will come and one goes. So what happens? Automatically, these positive charges will attract the, el the electrons and the electrons will be repelled to move into the conductor. So always, the count of electrons will be remain same in the conductor and in the battery. No change in the count of electrons. Right? Always it is exchanging. One attracted, one loses. Force it to move inside and force it to move outside by electric force and chemical force. Up to what extent it can continue? It can continue to become equilibrium, but it won't possible when it is connected to a circuit, right? So this is the reason continuously that chemical force is working, then it can lose its energy. That's why it gets discharged. That's why it gets discharged, right? So this is given in your textbook in the page number. I'll show you that directly, especially in the screen. So that is explained here in the page number 182. So look at the diagrams. Get a clear idea using this figure only. Right? Once that FE is shown left side, once that FC is shown right side. Did you see that clearly? In the figure, right? Try to understand. So how you feel this uh, battery working 